Today we're in Pisa, Italy at the Piazza del Duomo, better known as the home place of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I'll be taking you through the whole piazza, we'll talk about ticketing, and I'll even give you some tips about easier access to the piazza. <music> tip for visiting Pisa or the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the Duomo is to use the train stop. I don't even call it a train station because it's not much of a station, but use the train stop uh, Pisa San Rosore. And it's very hard to find on Google. It doesn't show the correct entrance. Like if you're on foot and you need to arrive here or leave here to get to the Leaning Tower. So if you come here, uh, go to the end of the street. I believe it's called Via Andrea Pisano. That's the street, you'll go to the end of that and you'll see um, the entrance here to Pisa San Rosore train station. What I like about using this train stop though is that you're only about two blocks away from the cathedral and Leaning Tower of Pisa. If you were to use Pisa Central train station, then you would be, I don't know, maybe a 30 minute walk. So you'd probably want to get like a cab or something. But over here at Pisa San Rosore, you're much closer and you'll be there in no time. <laughs> If you plan to visit Pisa, I highly recommend booking your tickets online. There is a ticket office on site, but attendance to the tower and the baptistry is limited, so you will want to make sure that you reserve a slot. The structures at the Piazza del Duomo were built around 1000 to 1200 AD in the Pisan Romanesque style. In those days, baptistries were kept separate from the cathedrals. Unfortunately, there was a lot of restoration work going on during our visit, so I didn't get many clips and we weren't allowed into the upper floors. Moving over to the cathedral, we were immediately struck by its elegant yet commanding design. The nave at over 300 feet long was the longest in Italy when it was built. You could spend a great amount of time enjoying its frescoes, sculptures, and side altars. pulpit by Giovanni Pisano may look like a product of the Renaissance, however, it predates this time period by a century. Even Michelangelo was known to come to Pisa to study this piece by Pisano. Our next stop was the Leaning Tower. No bags are allowed inside the tower, so we were directed over to the cloakroom where we could store our bags in a locker. This 186 foot tall tower began to lean during its construction. It may have represented failure at the time, but now, it's an iconic piece of architecture. The long climb up its narrow steps will reward you with an incredible view of the Duomo, Pisa, and the nearby mountains. Camposanto, which translates to cemetery, is situated along the northern side of the piazza. It was built as a final resting place for religious leaders and powerful people in the region, like the Medici. It was later opened up as one of Europe's first public museums. The walls are covered with the well-preserved frescoes from the 14th century, featuring the artist's perception of life and death. If you're coming to Pisa, I highly suggest that you hit the Compensanto um, 
you don't see stuff this old in such good shape very often. This is, this is, I keep saying it's amazing. It really is. This place is just really cool. go ahead and close this video out here my phone's about to die now and my, my camera's dead so i better go ahead and close this up but i gotta tell you all that the piazza del duomo was amazing today like this place is is blown my mind how cool it was it rivals anything that you might find like in florence or anywhere else i mean the the size of the grounds here the history that's here the condition of the artifacts is just fantastic i mean it's it's just a great thing and there's so much here from the 13th, 14th, 15th century, so old. Anyway, if you're coming to anywhere in Tuscany, anywhere in, the, in this half of Italy, you can get here pretty easily. Hop on a train. You can get here from Florence in you know, less than an hour, from Lucca, from Cinque Terre. You could probably be here from Rome if you take the fast train. You could be here in maybe two hours. It's an excellent site. Definitely don't miss it on your next trip to Italy. My next video will be in Florence, so y'all stay tuned for that one.